Okay, so here I am um, just below Kirikiri on a, a back road over to uh, Opur in the Bay of Islands, uh, just uh, up the road from where I live, or the Mahoe Road. And I've um, <clears throat> got my chainsaw and my tarp and uh, my trailer, and uh, we're about to load up some Vasi grass. Now, Vasi grass is in the Paspellum family, um, it's not your classic uh, Paspellum grass like you normally familiar with with those dark um, blackish sticky seeds on it. Um, now Vasi grass can get up to two meters tall. Here it's um, not quite that height um, but uh, you know it, it can form a, a monoculture that it, 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 it dominates out the other grasses um, and it's very stalky. It's um, the best um, straw substitute uh, or one of the best straw substitutes that um, you can find uh, up here in the, uh, the far north where we uh, don't grow straw because we can't grow grains. Um, you notice it's not out in the pastures, or there might be a little bit out in the pastures, but the, <coughs> the cows knock it down. So it, it takes over uh, grass uh, verges and it's uh, very abundant uh, all over the place. And um, you can see it's on both sides of the roads here. Um, <coughs> there really is a uh, a huge amount, uh, far more than I'm going. Best thing would be to get a slasher. Uh, this is what I've done in the past. Got to get a tractor mounted uh, slasher and uh, just mow the side of the road, and um, most of your work is done for you. Today we're just going to attack it with a chainsaw. Um, it's dying off, uh, it uh, will go completely dead. Um, maybe because we're up a little bit high here, it's um, not quite dead yet, but. Um, you, you, later on in the winter or spring this will just be a pure stand of um, uh, carbon, dry carbonaceous material. So um, yeah let's see how it goes. Now as I'm about to demonstrate the chainsaw is uh, not the, quite the right tool for this job. A scrub bar uh, would be much better but um, I don't have a scrub bar, I've only got a little chainsaw so we we don't need to get too much today, but um, in the future I'll come back with the, the right weapon for the job. But uh, now I'll just uh, demonstrate um, how um, how this does work. But uh, in the past uh, I've cut down this where it's been a bit more uh, less green, and the chainsaw actually has done a reasonable job. But um, today it's um, been a bit difficult. So uh, yeah, we'll just get a little bit more and uh, we'll call it a day. Well this was all I got. It was um, too much like hard work with a chainsaw. Um, I don't like hard work so um, I gave up pretty quickly. Uh, next time I'll go back with a um, decent uh, scrub bar. Um, so we're going to uh, put this on the ground and uh, work it over with the lawnmower to get it into a, um, a more chopped um, fibre length. Got our other panels. Um, we had very little drying weather this winter, but uh, some of these panels are starting to go off now, um, despite constant rain. That was one of the first panels. Just with Ralpo, Pampas. This is our pure pampas. This is still. This was just made on a few days ago. It's still quite wet, but um, they're looking good.
<clears throat> so that's all I got. Much more efficient to uh, slash a mounted on the back of the tractor. <clears throat>